Hello. Um, hello, Bark, uh, the Bark Lord. Uh, this is the practitioner, uh, Bachelor of Science student. Uh, I maybe got your username wrong. I apologize. Anyway, this is the practitioner, uh, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, math minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical skeptic, and Fortean, uh, sorry, uh, technical agnostic and Fortean skeptic. Uh, the only reason I'm mentioning this is just because this is uh, my traditional info intro to all my videos. Pay no heed to any of that. Um, I have to admit that. Um, uh, I'm an Aspie myself, so um, I guess uh, again this this entire uh, uh, concept of, uh, of of what defines good or or how uh, or how knowledge versus uh, versus how good you are in society, um, you know this really intrigues me uh, primarily because of the fact that um, just for my own uh, because of the way my brain is wired, um, I personally require a large database of knowledge. Otherwise, I don't feel happy and I start begin becoming depressed. You know, like if I don't. Um, if I feel that I'm not getting a particular aspect of, of, of a subject, or more specifically, if I feel like I'm being, um, if I'm being, uh, uh, I agree with you, uh, particularly because of the fact that uh, one of my biggest fears in all of my courses is that um, a certain aspect of my disability, i.e., my lack of organization, is going to cause me to get is going to uh, cause me to get failed. Um, you know, or, or extraneous circumstances in my life are going to cause me to get failed, when in reality, if I'm going to be failed in any course or suspended for anything, I should be suspended due to my lack of understanding of the material I'm trying to study, or, you know, or, or fail that based on my lack of understanding of the material and not on an organizational issue like getting an assignment in late or, uh, you know, or something like that. I mean, like, you know, if I get a low mark, I expect to get a low mark for, for lack of understanding of the material or, la or not having put enough work into the material. You know what I mean? You know, I, like, and I agree with you totally. Like you know, um, I've I've had that biggest fear. Now, fortunately, the professors that were uh, at the uh, at both the college and the university I attend um, are uh, at, at Camelson College and Athabasca University are very considerate and uh, have fortunately not had done that. I've had a I've had extremely understanding professors pertaining to my disability. Um, but I agree. Um, I agree with what um, I wanted to. Uh, uh, comment on a couple of things about what you said. Um, one of which that you said um, that get, that uh, you uh, it was part of your depression that you you have you're uncomfortable with the idea of a degree meaning that you're bettering yourself. Well, I agree with you into a certain extent, but I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, getting a college degree is bettering oneself. But you don't necessarily need a master's of business administration or, or any business degree or something like that. If you want to go back to school to try to get out of that job, uh, you know, since you're since you're wanting to be physically demanding, is what that wouldn't be irresponsible. What would be ir um, what would be irresponsible is going at, is going to a college or or or, or doing something with your life, uh, trying to do something with your life and doing it half-heartedly, which is one of the things I am desperately trying not to do. <laughs> you know, again, this is you know that's that's what drives me. But um, you know, I, I agree. You know, um, uh, you're. I, I agree uh, about um, about your uh, your idea, like you know, um, that uh, the the PE uh, the athletes on a um, on a cape on a uh, uh, a particular uh, you know um, you know shouldn't be suspended uh, just because of their uh, inability to do uh, academic grades. Well, maybe sports is their capability, um, you know, and and if that if that is you know more power to them, you know, um, you know, go for it. Like that's my. But the thing is that you know, I guess my point is is that you know. Um, Sorry, let me phrase. I want. I'm trying to figure out the best way to phrase this in such a way that, um, you see, I agree. I agree in part with you, but I also agree in part with the psychologist you went to, and I'll explain why. Um, I don't think that make it getting a college degree is bettering yourself, but I will say this much: if you want to get, um, if you want to get a job that's better out of, um, you know, uh, or if you're not, if you don't like the job you're in, then getting a better job. Um, you know, then then doing something to get to get a better job. Um, I mean, I, I assume you don't you aren't married or have kids right now. But what if in the hypothetical future you wanted to you, you wanted that, or um, or maybe for another reason? What if uh, what if you wanted to um, what if you just wanted to explore something different? You know, just just for the hell of it, you wanted to uh, change tax. You know, I mean, it's it's not really. Think about this. It would not be irresponsible of you to take a co uh, to c take a college degree, owing to the fact that you'd be uh, saving yourself some health uh, problems. You know, and you don't have to take a bachelor's administration. Take something that you that interests you. You know, go just go through the go through whatever. And you know, if you if you do decide to take student loans or if you do decide to go for a college degree, um, to get another job, go for it. If uh, if not, um, you know, and you want to. Uh, I mean, heck, uh, I, I saw another video uh, of yours titled uh, uh, Submission to the God and Goddess or something like that. Um, why not? 
you know, I mean, uh, you know, if 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 uh, if maybe your interest is uh, even more so highly in your paganism, um, or or whatever uh, tradition you follow, go for it. You know, uh, delve yourself further into that and become a a, a high um, become a religious a, a a spiritual teacher in that area. Um, or or you know, do whatever you want, but follow something that interests you. You know, play to your strengths and play to your strengths and 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 just see where it goes. You know. That's that's the whole point, I guess, is that it's not really irresponsible to do so. Um, irresponsibility would be uh, would be trying to go in, would be kind of drifting, and you know, and uh, or or trying it and then but doing it half-heartedly, you know. Find what you want to do and do it wholeheartedly. I guess is what I'm just trying to say, you know. Um, this you know this this is coming from an Aspie, so you know, bear in mind, I uh, you know, I I have a, a tendency to hyperfocus, but you know, for what it's worth, um, you know, I I agree, you know. Um, people should be playing to their strengths, you know, it's, we shouldn't be discriminating against a group of people just because they can do one thing well, but not necessarily another. Um, I would, uh, have reservations about, uh, I would have, uh, concerns, uh, you know, for the overall public, uh, about, you know, uh, or, or at least I would recommend to athletes that, um, and to others, you know, who are not in a, um, in a context and I would actually recommend this for everybody. I would recommend that everybody at least get one course or at least one introduction to critical thinking uh, in some way, just uh, to prevent themselves from getting duped by uh, by people like Master of Business Administration and the like. But um, uh, you know, to pre you know, to prevent you know, to make it harder for them to be exploited. But other than that, you know, that's my only recommendation. Other than that, I'd say take to your strengths and go with it. You know. Um, I mean, in my case, I've finally found my uh, my I finally found myself at home with chemistry so far. I kind of like it. I like being in the lab. Um, but that's just me, you know. Go with what you like, you know. Um, take a look at your situation in life and figure out what your interests are, and you know, take the time to mull it over. You know, if uh, and and heck, if uh, if you want to and if you're if you're worried about reducing that student debt or what have you, um, open a savings account um, uh, or, or find maybe or rent out a you know sublet part of your apartment or wherever you live uh, for a roommate or something um, I live with my girlfriend right now we split costs and it gives her uh, time to save up for money for uh, when she's going back to school so um, you know and I'm still in school but uh, you know I'm doing the same thing so you know you know take take your time do you know um, save your save up a little and uh, you know if, if you real you know if you want um, just start saving yourself a kitty and then just figure out what you want to do from there you know just um you know, go go with what interests you. Go, you know, just go with your strengths. Go with what interests you, and don't really give a shit about what other people think. You know, um, I'll let, I'll let you in on a little something. Just a uh, this is a uh, um, this is one of my little uh, quir uh, my annoyances with society, and um, uh, it's something that being an Aspie, I've kind of come to realize. Um, just because the majority of people believe something or hold a moral something to be, uh, uh, you know, hold, hold a certain moral value or belief, doesn't necessarily mean that what they believe is true or what they hold as morality is automatically correct. You know, so if you're worried about people uh, thinking of you as irresponsible or stuff like that, or if you're worried about it being irresponsible, don't worry about it. Just go with, you know, go with your strengths, go with what you want, go with something to better, uh, you know, to, to better your, your situation in life, you know, to save yourself the time, the stress, the hassle, and the depression. You know, do yourself, do yourself some good. Heck, take a vacation if you want. Like, you know, do something to get yourself out of the situation, um, you know, uh, out of the situation you're in. So this way you're, you're, you know, you're saving yourself your physical health. So this way you've got the energy to fight off the depression and other stuff to get better. And, you know, um, you know, take whatever it takes, you know, do whatever it takes to, to move there, you know, science just happens to be my, my own personal goal. Um, I agree with you that you know we do need to res we do need to be critically thinking about the implications of uh, of technology. Um, I'm just quibbling semantics here with you. Um, new gadgets and that is technology. That's application of science. Science is just trying to discover what is. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're right. Like you know, I, I do know that there are un you know there are unintended consequences. We do need to constantly think about. Um, we do, you know, except for medicine where the line blurs a little, but we do have to constantly, um, you know, think about, uh, this sort of stuff. We have to be constantly aware of the possibilities of side effects. Um, you know, you know, unintended consequences, the like, like, you know, if anything, critical thinking should be, uh, you know, and that's part of what critical thinking is, is logic and extrapolation. If anything, that should be in every field, you know, uh, it's not about academic achievement or what have you. It's just about simple, you know, that being available, but other than that, go with your strengths. Um, you know, take yourself out of the situation as well and you know, if you can, and, uh, you know, just, just figure out what, what, figure out what works for you, and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, you're in the position you're in right now, it's not good for you, so figure out what is good for you, and then go with it, anyway, that's just my thoughts, um, good vid, keep up the good work, and I wish you the best of luck, toodles!